we get it, boys. That's when we go on offense. That's when we go to them. And don't forget we're going to pick it on one, line, one tackle that time this week. We're going inside them. We're going outside them. Inside them and outside them. And when we get them on the run once, we're going to keep them on the run. And we're not going to pass unless our secondary comes up too close. But don't forget, man, we're going to get them on the run. We're going to go, 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 go. And we aren't going to stop until we go to that goal line. Don't forget, man, today's the day we're going to win. They can't lick it and the black out of the goal. The first was going to win there. Fight, 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 fight. What do you say, man? Okay. Uh, we say we're gonna kill him, coach. Ah! <laughs> What's the crack again there? YouTube, a good friend, Dasmerg. Thanks, new for pumping us up. Woo! So here's the first look. I've been waiting. I've been so waiting. It's back. Our baby's back. Yes, folks. It's uh, our first look here at uh, the so-called new and improved EA Sports slash Tiburon football effort here's our first look at all their efforts with the demo release for ncaa football american that is 2012 anyways i'm kind of dragging it all out here for you so uh what i've done here is uh i've got uh, two gameplays captured um i'm gonna show uh texas oregon here in its entirety um uh, we're gonna see the first half here you know, play it out. Uh, I got a second video is going to come out right after this as soon as I'm, uh, I can get it all rendered out. And I'm going to throw it up there. It'll be the second half of this game. And then I've got uh, the other two matchups, which is, um, which I'm going to call it there, uh, uh, Florida State, Alabama. Um, and I'm Free Shoes University in that one. It's not pretty game. Well, it's not pretty, but anyway, so uh, like I said, the Texas Oregon game here I'm going to show in its entirety so you get to see all the new cinematics you know all the new intros how does the crowd look you know all the so-called pageantry that they try to build and build into college football um, yeah so we'll let her go there and uh, see what you think so I, I downloaded this uh, what I got this downloaded and I started playing it around noon and uh, what what are we now uh, about three hours later so I got about uh, you know eight games or so in so far. Um, early thoughts to let you know, um, and you know what? And let's uh, let's preface that as they say. Let's, let's expand your vocabulary, YouTube. Let's preface that first by. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, man, let's uh, let's set it up by saying uh, to let you know about me. If you have not been following me or my videos, um, if you haven't, why not, man? Anyways, um, me, I've been playing. Uh, EA Sports' brand of uh, football uh, since there was an EA Sports football. To give you an idea. Um, and college football uh, is a first love of mine. Uh, believe it or not, I was actually a college football fan before I was an NFL fan. It has to do with being a Notre Dame fan. Hey, hate it, love it. It's still Notre Dame. So I'm just going to change my controls around here. I recommend everybody doing the same thing. Turn auto passing off, turn auto sprint off, turn auto strafe off. Put it on formation. Don't let the game tell you what to do. You should be able to pick it. Um, if you're new to the game, those are you know some good things, and the whole auto pass thing is you know can be handy. But uh, uh, you know what? You know some people say the learning curve can be kind of steep on this. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. I I think that, you know they've done a pretty good job in developing the game. I don't think the uh, learning curve is that too terribly steep on it. So here away we go. Um, so yeah, I was talking about you know me. I've been playing uh, these football games since the very beginning, since they you know that, since they made them. You know, the very first college football that EA Sports slash Tiburon put out, I played it, and I've been playing them since. So I'm I'm pretty lucky in that way that I've got a perspective and a point of view that I can bring to you of somebody who's been playing them all all through the consoles. Uh, I, you know, I took a break from the consoles for a number of years. Um, to PC, so what from like 2003 right through to what was the last one they made on PC? 2008 for Madden, that is. I uh, was playing that, and plus, you know, I just like the PC version because of the modding that went on. But I did at the same time own console versions. Uh, I was a late getter of the Xbox 360 slash PS3, though. Uh, it's really only the last two years I've had the Xbox 360 and PS3. So, uh, my initial thoughts so far to let you know it is improved. Uh, I'll give uh, you got to give credit where credits due. The game is definitely much improved. There's no more of the suction, you know, as advertised. There's no, I have not seen any suction block. 
um, suction blocking, uh, suction tackling, and um, you know defense seems to be a, a bit smarter. The money plays out into the flat seem to be, uh, for the lo- most part, eliminated. Um, it, it might even seem a little bit like speed and acceleration might actually matter. Um, that remains to be seen. Um, you know, some bad. Oh, you know what? I don't want to go right into the bad. Some some other good things. I don't know if it, it, it translates well here on YouTube with the video capture and whatnot. But game looks fantastic. Uh, it looks like it's high uh, to me, uh, and I'm uh, you know I'm kind of lucky because I've got a Panasonic 56 inch G15. That's the first of the G series plasma plan- panels. It looks like it's running at a higher fr- frames uh, frame rate. So that looks got, uh, good. Saw a little bit of flickering here and there, and some and some of the new HDR lighting, you know, from the uh, you know the look down from the you know top up on the stadium. Um, but you know that's a little nitpicky to me. That doesn't really matter as long as you're not getting flickering during gameplay. Um, you know, there seems to be still a little bit of ice skating out there. Um, it seems like the defense. Um, might be a little bit too over aggressive again these are things these are simple things that can be you know you know if you want to nitpick and want to be a bitch about it um the ice skating unfortunately i don't know how much we're going to be able to fix with slider switching around and uh the defense um and what happens with the and I, you know to to give you guys a little insight on this is what happens on ea sports's uh football games i've noticed over the years is if the uh what do you call it there the uh defense is too aggressive what happens is it seems like it gets that like mind reading type situation the one game i was playing um i had a play action pl- uh play and i did a pump fake to the one side of the field turn around and through to the other and the two guys that were in zone as soon as i released the ball uh the linebacker underneath and the safety over top immediately went right after the guy oh great now i got a phone call one moment and we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, the the joys of owning your own business and getting interrupted here and there. So, what the hell are we talking about? Uh, you know, the goods and, and, and bads. Um, it would have been nice to see the 3-4 defense. Um, maybe they're still working on it. Um, you know, me, I play a pretty conservative, uh, smashing in the face st- style running. Uh, you know, running a, you know, running based attack. So, these more spready type. Uh, playbooks, you know, not my cup of tea. Um, maybe for you, other players out there, you know, maybe you'll enjoy it a little bit more. Um, it looks like a lot of the old money plays have been eliminated. Uh, I tried a couple of um, what do you, what do you call this there? The old uh, nano blitzes. They seem to be kind of, you know, a little less reliable. So you know, there's a little less money. Um, the only really bad thing that I saw, and uh, I've got that in the Alabama game, um, the Alabama F- uh, Free Shoes University there game, um, is uh, we seem to be, you know, the tumbleweed uh, animation f- issue from last year and the year before and the year before, and I think even the year before that, uh, you know, college and Madden's games, Seems to have been replaced by uh, the simultaneous uh, animation. Um, so what will happen is you get the, the offensive, like offensive line will, uh, you know, well, you know what, I, I'm not completing the thought here because it's actually, it seems to me, it seems to be two issues. Is And this was an issue last year and the year before too. It looks like they haven't completely resolved. Maybe they can tweak it out. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to tweak it, uh, tweak it out Mostly with uh, with sliders is um, pancakes seem to be pretty high. Um, this is also another issue. This can be fixed with sliders, though. It's it's been a shame though that you know college football guys don't bang in 50 yard field goals with any kind of regularity. I know these are two high line teams, but uh, come on now, it's college. I banged in a 53 yarder from the right hash, and then I could have hit from yeah from 53. I could have hit it from 63. So it's a shame that that hasn't been tweaked. Uh, you know, out of the box. Here's hoping. There's still a few minor tweaks. We still got uh, almost a month to go. Uh, almost. Uh, not actually, not even. But anyways, uh, getting back to the, the tumbleweedy type animation. So it seems to be a combination of pancake blocking. Seems to be a little bit on the high side still, and you get a simultaneous like tum- not really tumbleweed, but it's like a fall down animation. 
And Alabama, if you play with Alabama in the demo, you'll probably, or play against them, you're probably going to best see it uh, there. It, it seems to be uh, mostly happening with them. Maybe it just might be a stat thing too, is that, uh, you know, a couple of, couple of times, and in a couple of different games now too, it's happened where like half of my, the, my defensive line and two middle linebackers or my entire defensive line, and then, you know, like a two steps later, as the offensive line moves forward up to the second level, everybody falls down at the same time. So all of a sudden, you know, you got a running play, you've got a running defense picked, you know, you're blitzing the right side, you even picked, uh, you even told your defense beforehand, hey, they're running that way, and guess what happens? Ball gets snapped, and your entire defensive line falls down. And all of a sudden, the offensive line's at the second level. Um, some nice things, though, that we, uh, and I was playing, uh, well, I wasn't playing with my buddy Jimmy because you can't play it online. God forbid you play a demo against somebody online. <laughs> but uh, something that he pointed out, too, was uh, that because of the, there's no more suction blocking, that actually creates a whole lot new uh, level of interaction between the defensive and offensive lines. And I was even able to do it, too, where if you've got a big, strong defender, oh, check this out, beautiful play out, eh? And you can shove, uh, you can do the shove, you know, you can do that big uh, force pop to the offensive lineman, and then you can do a swim move. And you check out the replay on this. This isn't too, too bad. See, I stop. Uh, really, if I made a catch and turn around like that, I should have lost all of my momentum. Uh, Apex has got a video about that, uh, talking about how, you know, the running animation is still a bit clunky. Uh, we've done better. Uh, the double head tackles, seen tons of double head tackles. Thank you very much on that. Finally, uh, no more tumbleweedy guys falling off to the side. Thank God. Has that been a tremendous issue? Um, that was a money play that I was running there. That's been mostly fixed. And the other nice thing too is because there's no more such and blocking, is one of the money big money plays since what 2008 version of Madden slash uh, NCAA has been the old um, what do you call it that slanty run off, off tackle and uh, that's no longer a money run so that is awfully nice to see so we're winding up close to the half here and we got 11 seconds left um, it's been an interesting half you see I, like I said I play fairly conservatively so um, it looks like also one last thing that I've noticed too. I was able to do it. In, uh, in, uh, I wasn't able. I, I, I can show it off. It looks like the old rocket pass is back, where uh, that's where you're backpedaling, and you push up on the stick, and you you just you know do the lob lob throw, and the ball goes way up in the air, way high, way accurate, way far. <laughs> you know, I threw a 50 yard bomb on a play action. Um, it probably went about 60 yards in the air. So, but you check this out. Like, this is, you know, this looks nice, man. Like, this is me. This is me. This is all me. You know, you know that's, um, you know, the other nice things. You're able to push the pocket. But we're winding down here to the half. Uh, don't want to talk over it too much. I've got another one coming up. Sorry for the length. But like we're saying, we're showing you the whole game. See you shortly.